Aragone Bridge has been standing tall over the Connecticut River since the 1930s. And tonight, News 8's Josh Scheinblum introduces us to a man who liked it so much, he built his own. Good enough, that's all you want. That'll keep me busy. With these hands, here goes my clamp. 80-year-old Joe Vergadula enjoys his retirement. Now I have to leave that and go somewhere else. He may not be employed, but he's still working. It'll get quite dusty in here. His latest creation? You have to be very patient. A four-foot replica of the Aragone Bridge that connects Middletown and Portland, Connecticut. Uh, that's in dedication to my father and all the working men who, who helped build the bridge. It's smaller than the last one he finished a month ago. The big one was uh, five feet. This might, might be four feet. But I, I like to get a different view on it. Back in the 1930s, it took construction workers two years to build the Aragone Bridge. But for Joe, it took just three months. Without this work, uh, the, you couldn't possibly build a bridge or anything without plans. Although crude and rough plans, for me, I see, I see it all. Like a bridge, Joe has those that support him. How about that? <laughs> no, 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 stay. Case in point, his wife, Jenny. We've been married 56 years. But Joe will never married. tell you yeah, that. She didn't come down three times while I was working on the bridge. Toward the end, she came down. And we had a debate about the color of the water. However, spend some time with the two of them, and you'll know what a team they truly are. You want to turn it around? Okay, get on the other side, John. We'll turn it. Right. A bridge as solid as a marriage, 56 years and counting. Now, did you want to see my signature? Lay it down. In Portland, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.